Bro, did you mean to say Puyallup? I've never heard it pronounced like that. As a native of Washington, Puyallup is pronounced Puyallup. Puyallup is pronounced Pu-al-up, dude. The way you say it is so grating. Puyallup, Washington is pronounced Pu-al-up. But I don't blame you for love all the Puyallup guys are pronounced Puyallup in his name. Up the way he says, as someone who lives near Puyallup, Washington, it always gets it because no one ever gets it. Puyallup, 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 Pu
Yeah, get the second speaker gone. Or teach him how to say ours. Guadin. Now that's just wooed. I really think you should reconsider writing that because it is very, very disrespectful. Are you Defunct Land? Is the narrator the guy from Defunct Land, or am I going crazy? Yes, you are going crazy. Uh, neither of us sound anything like Defunct Land, though somehow more than one person came to that conclusion. Why did you not discuss Dr. Courtney Hunt? While the case and feud between Dr. Hunt and Martin is very interesting, it doesn't provide any necessary details to the lore and backstory for Martin. She is a present event, which is currently happening. Although there are some connections, especially when Martin talks about her being the leader of a cult, there's just never any actual reason to include her and their feud when it comes to understanding Martin and why he is the way he is. At least not for the narrative we were going for in the video. Wouldn't his name be pronounced Cabello? Pretty sure double L equals Y sound in Spanish. Yeah, I have no idea. I think even he pronounces it Cabello, so I, I'm not really sure. Ever since the first video I seen of Martin, I can't shake this uneasy, creepy feeling that I know this guy. I never met him, and don't live anywhere near him, but there is something oddly familiar about him to me. Anyone else have this? Is there multiple narrators? <clears throat> no. no. Sesame Street puppets are not Muppets. Actually, they are. Just Google it. I bet he runs Temple OS on his computer. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. A connection I never would have made on my own, but Martin absolutely does seem like the type to use Temple OS. Wouldn't surprise me at all if he did. Martin Cabello is the player, and we are just the NPCs. Wait, it's all Ernie? Always has been. Dudes be like, I can't stop seeing the light that is real light. My brother and Cabello, you made the light. I feel like Martin is a 4D human being. He claims to be able to see through walls, and there's an explanation about how we can see through 2D. So the same logic applies on a 4D people being able to see through, like, how we can see a whole drawing, even though there's walls and objects. We can see the entire 2D picture. Brazil. Brazil cheese. Brazil bread. Brazil ham and turkey. Brazil lettuce. Brazil tomatoes. Brazil steak. Chicken and gas. Brazil lighter. Brazil rope. Brazil chair. Brazil sign. Brazil marker. Make Brazil sign and say it was him. The replies in this comment section are some of the weirdest on YouTube I've seen thus far. Well, if that ain't the truth. The YouTube comment section is a strange and elusive place. You never know what you'll find. Though, what did we expect making a video about such a character as Martin? We certainly didn't expect to get nearly 600,000 views and all of these new subscribers. If you were one of those new subscribers, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed this particular dive into all of the responses we got. Perhaps one of your comments was featured, in which case, we apologize, we're very sorry. Don't forget the sale that Atlas VPN is running now where you can get a 3 year subscription for only $1.99 per month with a 30 day money back guarantee. The link is in the description below and in the pinned comment. Thanks again to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to all of you viewers for watching this video. We will see you in the next one.